So I'm here at Vivo's Tech Day, and this is the very first time that they are having this kind of an event where they're showing what happens in the background of what goes inside making some of their best smartphones out there. You know that I am a camera nerd, and I absolutely love testing smartphone cameras. And therefore, to actually see how the V1 Plus chip and the Zeiss collaboration works was actually eye-opening. And let me show you all the cool things that they have out here. So you guys are aware that the X series of phones, Vivo's X series of phones, has Zeiss's T-Star coating, which controls refractions, lens, you know, flares, all of those things. But I'll show you how they actually work on this huge screen and setup that they have out here. Now we have a phone, this one, the orange one, which is without a T-Star coating, and this one, which is with a T-Star coating. And you can see the difference out here for yourself. Like right now, Nikhil and uh, you know Suraj are shooting me, and as you can see out here, there is no lens refraction around this area, which is clearly visible on the phone without the T-Star coating, which is not obviously not visible on the phone with the T-Star coating. And apart from that, the contrast is so much better. There's no ghosting flare either. All of that is very, very well controlled. And now I have a torch in my hands. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you <laughs> the difference. Can you see that in action? This is what the T-Star coating does. Now here's a Google Pixel 7 Pro in my hand. Now this one doesn't have T-Star coating. They don't work with Zeiss at the moment, at least. When I do this and I'll actually show you the picture instead. You see the amount of lens flare that's happening. Plus there are some color aberrations as well. Now let's move to the other areas of, you know, all the camera innovation and technology that goes behind a Vivo X series phone. So here's a nice showcase of, you know, what uh, the pictures that you take with a Zeiss T-Star coating and without one uh, look like. Oh, it's like, it's like a nice touch panel. So you can see the difference. Look at the amount of lens flare that's there without the T-Star coating and all very well controlled. Now quickly, I'll move to the other side as well. Now I have two glasses in front of me, one that has the T-Star coating and another that doesn't. So what I'm going to do is show you a live demo of it and you guys tell me which one actually has it and which one doesn't in the comment section below. So right now, you can see this, you can see the reflection of my hand on the glass and then I move down. Where's that gone? Now this kind of reflection control and refraction control can be done primarily because Zeiss's technology has a coating that is as small, as thin as 100 nanometers. That's more than 100 times thinner than the size of the human hair. This is the very first time that I've managed to get hold of a tiny lens, a tiny 7P lens from the insides of the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. You can see all the different lens elements out here and the coating actually goes on top of this. It's some complicated technology, but done beautifully. Now what's on display out here is are the different lens simulations that you can get with the portrait mode inside the Vivo X series. I remember using it in the X70 Pro and the Pro Plus being extremely impressed with it and it became even better with the X80 Pro. So you've got all the different kinds of lenses. You've got the Biota, the Distagon, the Planar and of course the Sonar as well. All of them doing different kinds of simulations in uh, you know the lens and you'll see the different kind of bokeh balls that you get with it when you actually shoot pictures. So let's do that right now. So by the way I'm sitting right now and and Kunik is helping take a nice little cinematic portrait of me with the fairy lights in the background. And let's take a look at how that lens simulation actually happens. It does look very, very beautiful. Yes, yeah, I'm posing for you right now. Okay, sure. And voila. Should that be my next DP? Let me know in the comment section below. So what you saw on your screen right now, you know the tiny little thing which was tinier than the Apple Watch's crown was actually the V1 Plus chip that goes inside the Vivo X80 Pro and enables a lot of cool features that we've actually showcased in our video that we did on the Vivo X80 Pro earlier. If you haven't seen that one yet, Link should pop up right now, go check it out. So what does the V1 Plus chip do? One of the most interesting things that it does is of course game frame interpolation. So if you're playing a game and if it's running at 45 FPS, it can add frames in between, you know, using software and increase that to, you know, 90 FPS as well, 45, 60, 
goes to 90. That's cool. Now, apart from that, what you also get is, of course, the fact that AI can easily detect if the scene is a, you know, low light scene and it shoots like low light video or low light photo, depending on what you want to do. And we've seen the difference. It can actually shoot in pitch dark conditions as well. The advantage of having a custom ISP plus chip like this is that, you know, it helps Vivo sort of build on their own core technologies and then use that and build upon that for future generation devices as well. So the X90 Pro slash Pro Plus, whatever is coming, I'm hoping it comes with the one inch sensor. That's what the rumors are saying. But when it does, I want to see how the V1 Plus chip leverages it. I tell this privately because the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, while it has that one inch sensor, HDR wasn't that great. And I hope Vivo can fix that. This is just a part of the Vivo tech day that I thoroughly enjoyed as a camera nerd. But there's a whole lot more that was showcased here. And for that, I'd you know recommend that you go and watch Arun's video over at Tracking Tech. It's got all the cool things that were showcased here. All right, that's it from me. If you guys learned something new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on Tracking Tech English. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.